Hey, hi everyone. I'm Margaret Wing. I'm the CEO at the Alberta Pharmacists Association. And I'm very happy to be here today to welcome you all to the profession of pharmacy. Um, it's kind of awful that I don't get to be there in person and have more of a conversation. Instead, you get me talking at you. So sorry about that. But also um, did want to bring welcomes from the association and let you know that you're going to be part of such an amazing profession. So you're all part of a amazing faculty at U of A. I'm a U of A grad from many years ago. And the best part of my whole life was definitely my pharmacy university experience. So I hope you got to really, really enjoy your time there. I know the last 18 months has been really crazy and challenging for everyone with COVID. And I know you've all experienced a lot. Definitely for our profession, it has been an overwhelming, challenging time for uh, many pharmacists in their career, but also incredibly rewarding because their contributions to their patients, Albertans Health during this pandemic has just been absolutely phenomenal. So very, very proud of this profession which is a little over 100 years old. So that's what you're getting involved in. Pharmacy's been around for a while. That's how many years um, pharmacists have been going to school at U of A. And you get an incredible degree, which will be recognized literally all over the world. And then when you graduate, you will become part of the pharmacy community, which you'll hear from the college. Our college is our organization that makes sure that you follow all the rules um, and practice pharmacy appropriately and are accountable to the public. And then you get to join the association and the association has been around for 20 years. And what we are is a voluntary association made up of members. And 20 years ago, the pharmacist said, hey, we wanna have an organization which represents our interests. So that's what we do. That's our mandate. Everything we do is for this profession. And you'll notice that as you go through your school, you have an education that is tailored towards the Alberta pharmacy practice environment. And you'll soon recognize that we have an environment that is very different than anywhere else in the world. Our pharmacists here can write prescriptions, they can prescribe, they can give injections, obviously. We all know about the COVID and um, COVID vaccination program that pharmacists have participated in. But to put it in perspective, pharmacists have just recently done 2.4 million COVID vaccinations for Albertans. And that's out of a total of 8 million in the entire Canadian landscape. So that's how much more Alberta pharmacists do than pharmacists in other provinces because we have advocated very hard for pharmacists to not only practice to their full scope, but also to get funded and paid for that in those community environments. So um, another thing that most people don't know is at the start of COVID, we um, worked with our government partners and made sure that there was an opportunity for pharmacists to bill for COVID assessments. And what that means is that in the last uh, 18 months, pharmacists have billed for over a million COVID assessments to government and been funded for that. So that is really quite amazing and it just helps demonstrate, one, what pharmacists contribute to the, their patients, their community, their the care of Albertans, but also the work that the Alberta pharmacists members have done to make sure that they've shaped a practice environment that they want to work in. So I just encourage you all to really enjoy your time at U of A to be part of APSA because they're the crew on the ground that's helping you guys with your advocacy efforts. And then when you get towards the end of your career, really start thinking about RxA, be part of RxA, shape your future. Um, that's what I wanted to do and that's what all of our members wanna do and create that environment that you wanna work in when you graduate. We do a lot of fun things like professional development, which you'll 
want to be part of after your university degree. Um, we really focus on practice support, uh, such as things like what happened around the COVID pandemic. And then I know in the next few days, you'll be meeting Ellie Demani, who's part of our professional affairs department. And he's really great at networking pharmacists and making sure that we can really work together and move our profession forward. Right now, your student board member for RXA is uh, Garrett uh, Lockhart, I think, is it? And he's totally awesome. So make sure you connect with him if you have any questions or even if you want to get involved a little more. So that's it. I'm going to sign off and I'm going to look forward to um, the day that I get to meet you all and we get to do this face to face. So have a great day, great orientation, and lots of fun while you're at U of A. Ah, take two, take two. <laughs> it's Garrett Garlock. Sorry, Garrett. Sorry, Garrett. Love you. You're the best. <laughs>